Hey, how's it going everyone? I just wanted to post a quick video uh, just showing my um, uh, academic background and I only put this up just to have sort of a, a place that I can send people just to validate, you know, what I'm saying that I've uh, accomplished, um, like a digital resume, I guess. So that's my high school diploma. I'll try and go in chronological order here. That's my undergrad degree. That's the gold medal that I won for the highest GPA in electrical engineering. That's my master's in electrical engineering from Rice. This is my uh, accounting degree. And then that's, that's my CPA from the state of Arizona. And I also have referenced my GRE score, which I'll get to in a second. But when I was, when I was thinking of applying to MBA school in the US, I had to get my undergrad transcript converted to a US GPA. Because in Canada, we, we go off of um, scores out of a hundred. So those are how all the grades were converted. And then my American GPA would be uh, a 3.96 and my GRE score. Sorry, just so you see my name. Oh, actually, sorry. I think this was for, for me to become uh, a CPA actually I needed this uh, conversion that was the purpose of this um, um, educational credit evaluation and then my GRE score yeah my name that's when I was living in Canada um, I mean most relevant is for us is this quantitative section and it's scored out of 800 and so I also want to show here, you can see that if you go to the Arizona CPA Society, you can see that, you know, I've been licensed since 2014. Um, you can also go to the Governor General's site. And uh, if you search for my name, you'll see that I, I had the highest GPA in high school. And then I also wanted to... Um, Here are my, um, here's my undergraduate transcript. So you can see here, you know, the, it has a list of like the scholarships that I won. And then it has, you know, all my grades. So in Canada, you know, they, they score us out of a hundred. So that was my first year, which was like just general courses and then you know, you can see, um, uh, like the kind of coursework that we did. I'll explain actually that, um, I think it's on this one or maybe the next one, but, um, yeah, there it is actually in engineering electromagnetics one, you'll see that I actually have a grade of a hundred and, uh, I'll actually explain that in another video that I'm, that I'm about to do, but that was, uh, that's my first page of it oh, I guess there's not much on this one uh, that's the second page and then I will go to my uh, rice grad transcript this one neatly fits all on one page so this was the point I was making kind of just in the in the comment boards a little bit is that all my classes were kind of in the field of like statistical signal processing, random processes. Um, I took cardiopulmonary dynamics because I was actually interested in biophysics, um, uh, information and coding theory and um, numerical analysis. The research and thesis is like our research course that we had to do. And then you can see um, approximation of large scale dynamical systems, which is a very, very cool class actually, dealing with um, large matrices and how to, um, you know, break them down and extract information from them. And uh, I took a couple kind of filler courses at the end, but my GPA when it was all said and done was 3.75, which for grad school, I mean, is pretty much everybody gets close to four, so that's not amazing but um, just to show you kind of the, the types of courses that I took 
um, in grad school. And uh, that's it actually. So I just wanted to document that and uh, hope everyone's doing well.